You ever think to yourself, how come they don't make something like an ice cream truck for adults? And with beer. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how we turned this 1942 Chevy Co. into a beer truck. When I first started Sam's Upholstery, we started doing some of the most badass interiors in the Midwest. When I uh, got further along in my career, we started doing more of the restoration process, and I thought, you know, let's make something that everybody could enjoy. So with this 1942 Chevy Co, um, it started its life out as a U.S. mail truck. Found it down in Colorado Springs, parked out in the pasture, um, brought it home, got it all stripped down. Uh, what we ended up doing was putting it on a 2009 ambulance chassis with the Chevy 6.0 in the back. Once we got the box set on, on the ambulance chassis, uh, we ran into an issue where we could actually see the bottom side of the ambulance chassis. So we actually made these little roll pans um, underneath there to kind of hide that, that ugliness. And then we patinaed it to kind of model the, the same patina. And this is actually the green patina that was actually on the truck. We didn't do anything with this. You know, obviously we added our sign, you know, all hand painted. My sister actually did that. We made this um, from a 1956 Chevy truck. This is actually the rear fender um, where we actually sectioned it and then obviously filled in the, the gas hole that didn't line up anywhere. Sectioned that so it would uh, follow and flow around there, kind of tucks in around the wheel. Um, if you notice, the, the fenders actually flip. This should be on the other side, but we like that little square kind of rolled edge on the face there. It looked a little bit better once we held it up there. It has eight taps um, that we split two ways, so you can have 16 serving stations. Um, you have the, the one in here, but and then the little bit smaller guy over here. So when you're traveling down the road, we can shut the door like that. It keeps all the road grime and dirt and stuff like that off of it. You know, these unscrew, so you put those in a bucket, you don't have to worry about cleaning it and sanitization when you, when you get there. This Chevy Co started its life out as a U.S. mail truck down in Colorado. Um, what makes this particularly pretty nice for a beer truck is these doors open up super wide. We did one show, our, our very first show, we did uh, 17 kegs. Um, we had to load all of those by hand. Um, it only took one time to do that, to install this guy right here. We've got a nice little winch system, so when we roll the kegs up to the door, it winches it up into the back of the truck, and then off we go. This is actually the second refrigeration system that we put in it. Um, the first one was more of a conventional, almost like a refrigeration type setup on it, um, but we needed a lot bigger compressor. Um, that's a lot of volume that we have to cool down. Um, and it's not really the insulated the best, so we wanted to make sure that beer was cold. We put the screw type compressor in, really forces that cold air in there. So we put a Chevy 6.0 down in her um, with a 4L80E transmission. We actually located it behind the cab. Um, the original 6.0 power stroke diesel that came with the ambulance was what we were kind of thinking to use because you'd have endless torque um, with that diesel motor. However, keeping it up front left us maybe maybe six inches of leg room. So with this, a little bit smaller power plant, still plenty of torque, ton of towing capacity with it. Never had a day of trouble with this guy. Um, I can hop on the interstate, drive 70 mile an hour all day long with this. For the interior of the cab, um, as you can see, we're pretty limited on space, so we wanted to maximize as much room as possible. Um, we used these seats out of, these seats actually came out of the ambulance itself. We actually upholstered these seats in an Irish leather and that was totally by accident. It's something I had on the shelf. Um, so when I got started, I had enough to do the seats. Well, one and a half seats. Um, did I, f I found out the hard way um, that Irish leather is, is extremely expensive, mainly because they don't have the, the scar marks from a barbed wire fence. They don't use any barbed wire over there apparently. So I had to order more of those in order to finish the door panels and the center console. We have a stainless steel tilt column that actually hooks into a wizard steer clear gearbox. And what that is, it's, a, it's like a little chain driven gear assembly that hooks up 
kind of right where right where it goes into the floor pan and has allowed me to go straight down from there so I don't have all those U-joints that could end up binding because it's such an awkward angle with this little snub nose guy. We have vintage air, must have in the summer. You know, those, those 90 degree days, you, you need something to take the heat off and sometimes that's not enough. Uh, the window does crank out, which is pretty cool. Don't recommend doing that down the interstate. That thing starts to get a little bit flimsy and these guys are next to impossible to find. Uh, the headliner we wrapped in a black vinyl. Uh, this is actually the, the metal uh, shell that it, it would have came with. Um, and we just kind of went right over that. Made, made my job a little bit easier. So the ambulance chassis, it, we left pretty much intact. And this is actually the, the brake system that the ambulance came with. The one problem we ran into is it, it's so long that there's no way we would have been able to stick this under the hood. Uh, so the solution we kind of came up with is we made this angle bracket so when you step on the brake it actually pivots and that way I can mount it at a perfect 90. If you see our uh, nice TV screen down here on the center console it's not because we have a huge sound system going on in this. Um, it's actually because I can't see behind the damn truck. So we have a camera that's actually wired in. Um, so as I'm going down the highway, the interstate or whatever, um, it acts as my rear view mirror. It's great for pulling into parties and stuff like that too because I can, I can back in and actually beep to let me know uh, how close I am to an object, kind of like a newer vehicle. We have these Dolphin gauges that we put in the factory slot uh, in a nice built aluminum trim piece. It pays homage to that old school look and feel of the truck. Well that wraps it up on the 1942 Chevy Code that we made. Uh, you can check us out on Facebook and our website kind of has some more detailed pictures of, of the build process and what we did to, to make this thing come to fruition. And if you're out and about and you see this truck, come find us. We'll give you a cold one. <laughs>